Today we're going to look at putting a Ubuntu 19.04 edition onto Active Directory in about two minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go off and we're going to get a copy of curl installed. And I'm going to tell you that I've done a lot, if not all the necessary steps that you need for the basics and uploaded it to Git. So all we're going to do is go ahead and basically run a script that I've prepared earlier. Now, if you're interested to know all of those steps, stay tuned for the follow up video. For the meantime, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a, a sudo, we're going to do a curl, and we're going to go to the GitHub repository where I have my script, and we're just going to pass uh, three parameters. So in this case, the domain, the domain server, and the account which has the ability to join the domain. Uh, it will get prompted for a password later. So it's going to go ahead and request all the prerequisites, and it's only going to really ask us for the password once when we're joining, which should pop up shortly. Once that's entered, it will go ahead and create the key tab file, and it will reset all of the rest of the configuration that's required. So it's effectively automated all the way to this point. Now at the end of it, you'll get a prompt basically telling that you need to restart in order for the desktop to be able to log into Active Directory accounts. Now, this honestly can be done any way you want. Uh, you don't need to restart. You could just, you know, terminal and um, go ahead and log in with an Active Directory account. But since we want to prove that we can get into GOM with uh, an AD account, that's exactly what we're going to do. So we are going to have to restart for that to take effect. Um, now my desktop automatically logs straight in, so I'm going to have to sign out. And I'm just going to go ahead then and go for a non-listed account. And this is where we put in our AD account. So in this case, for testing purposes, we're going to use the administrator because there is no administrator account on my Ubuntu machine. Therefore, it has to come from the domain. You'll also see that the home directory is being created because it's the first time that we're logging on. And there we go. As a result, we are now signed in and logged in as administrator on our Ubuntu desktop in just under two minutes.